So we've seen a lot of different reactions to the Taliban taking over in Afghanistan. But one of the most fascinating reactions that I've seen is far-right conservatives reacting to the policies that the Taliban is going to inevitably institute. So I don't know if this was on Telegram or Parler, but this is what the booger-eating Nazi Nick Fuentes tweeted out. The Taliban is going to ban abortion, vaccines, and gay marriage. Maybe we were fighting on the wrong side for 20 years. So they're just saying the quiet part out loud. And, you know, I, I do believe that it's a false equivalence to suggest that all conservatives are comparable to the Taliban. But when you look at the far right elements and see what they're pushing, especially like evangelicals, there is a lot of overlap. And I'm glad that they're acknowledging that because it, it's good that they broadcast their agenda to everyone. So everyone sees how extreme they are and hopefully will recalibrate and, you know, shun these individuals who support these types of policies. I mean, the Taliban, they want to ban abortion. LGBTQ plus rights. They want to teach religion in schools, make that mandatory. You know, they have an anti-science agenda, and a lot of the evangelicals and far-right individuals in the United States are pushing that exact same agenda. And it's not just like evangelicals and individuals like Nick Fuentes who agrees with this. A lot of neo-Nazis in the United States are vocalizing how interesting it is that the Taliban was able to seize power, and they kind of agree with them and, and they're looking at the Taliban as you know this sort of point of inspiration where if they can do it and it was relatively easy to overthrow the U.S. government perhaps it's not that difficult for us to do the same thing albeit here in a different context perhaps under a different set of circumstances so as Ben Makuch of Vice reports I think Islam is poisonous posted an account linked to a former Proud Boys network on Telegram, an encrypted app widely used by the far right. But these farmers and minimally trained men fought to take their nation back from world governments. They took back their national religion as law and executed dissenters. Hard not to respect that. Many of these posts were blatantly anti-Semitic and celebrated the Taliban's resistance to a global Jewish cabal, a racist and inaccurate trope commonly cited on Telegram. If white men in the West had the same courage as the Taliban, we would not be ruled by Jews currently, said the same Proud Boys-linked post viewed close to 2,500 times. To be honest, the Taliban is epic, said a popular white nationalist commentator on Telegram in a post viewed over 2,000 times. The U.S. had to invade in the early 2000s and stay over 20 years spending one trillion dollars and dozens of american lives to hold them back as soon as we left the taliban took over the whole country in like 12 hours lmao now the irony is that they don't like the taliban because the taliban consists of people from the middle east who they don't like because they're racist but they do acknowledge that one they do have a common enemy with the taliban common enemy being jewish people and two they acknowledge that the tactics of the Taliban can be implemented to a degree of, uh, of success, possibly, by them. And that's that's really horrifying because you have, however you know, large a portion of the population, openly suggesting that they utilize the same tactics that the Taliban used to overthrow you know, the government in Afghanistan here at home. And it's already the case that on January 6th, you know, insurrectionists tried to stage a coup in the United States. Of course, they weren't successful, but that doesn't necessarily detract from their intentions, which was to stop a democratic turnover of power. So, you know, to see them now openly, publicly applaud the Taliban and think, hmm, what if we did something like that here? Hmm, maybe the Taliban isn't so bad because there's kind of a lot of ideological overlap. I mean, we may not be Islamic, we may not be Muslim, but, you know, this uh, far right Sharia law that they're, in, you know, implementing, some of it seems pretty good. Like, I want to ban vaccines. I want to ban gay people. I want to, you know, suppress the rights of women and minorities. Hmm. It's, it, it's just, it, it really shows you how prevalent extremism is. And how brazen these folks are. I mean, think back 10 years ago. The most extreme elements publicly on the right, you know, the Tea Party, even they wouldn't go so far as to openly cheer on the Taliban, right? But now, today's 
right wingers are so far right and this isn't all of conservatives this is like the far right this is neo-nazis like nick fuentes and whatnot but still for them to openly applaud this power grab by the taliban because they view it as some sort of a blueprint as to how they may one day grab power in the united states and implement a similar style of government here uh you know it's 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 just uh, something that is worrying, and we have to find ways to de-radicalize these folks, because this is clearly awful. This is, you know, uh, you know, wanting to do something uh, similar to Christian Sharia law it is something that the left has called out for a long time. Evangelicals ha have promoted an agenda that's very comparable to, you know, these ext extremists in Saudi Arabia for a very long time. And now to see them kind of like openly embrace it and cheer it on, it just, it's a step further down this uh, really far right rabbit hole that it's only going to get worse. You know, I've said before that you can only shift so far to the right until you hit a, a wall and then there's nowhere left to go except for authoritarianism. And then you just have to explicitly embrace authoritarianism. But now all of a sudden these groups are becoming more prominent. You know, we have Nick Fuentes with his Groiper movement. We have the Proud Boys. We have the Boogaloo Boys. We have a number of different groups who are increasingly extreme and they want the United States government to collapse so they can do something similar to what the Taliban is doing in Afghanistan. And if they can accelerate that process by replicating the tactics used by, uh, you know, the Taliban, then they're going to try to do that. It's just something that is really disheartening and, and frightening to see, quite frankly. So this is going to be the most racist. Whoa! <laughs>